What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to animate text in Cinema 4D. So as you can see I have Cinema 4D opened up and the first thing I'm going to do is head over to MoGraph and select MoText just to add some text and I'm going to call this text Savage. Now just to make it look a bit better I'm going to align this to the center and I'm also going to change the font to something else. There we go and I'll put a depth to 50 just to give it a bit more of a 3D look like so. So the next thing we're going to do is head back over to MoGraph, select a vector and from a vector where it, there it is, and we're going to select random. Now you'll see the letters are going to be jumbled up all over the place. And that is what we want. So another thing you can do, if you come down here to the side and select parameters, we now get control of different things with the text. For example, the position, the scale and the rotation. Now for this, I'm only going to be using the rotation. However, if you do want to experiment, I recommend using the rotation and the scale as we will be using the position in a different way later on. So I'm going to come here and I'm just going to type in different things. So 45, 90, and let's say 55. Okay, text is completely jumbled up. That is what we want. Now the next thing I'm going to do is head back to Effector on this tab here. And you'll see we get control of the strength. And if I turn the strength down, that's what we get, so it goes back to normal. Now, at the moment, I'm gonna keep it all the way up like so, and I'm on the very first keyframe right here, and that's what I want as well. So, I'm gonna press Control, or if you're on a Mac, press Command, and click this strength here so it's red. That's laid down a keyframe for us. Then, if you're working in frames, um, you can see 30 frames is one second. Now, I'm gonna make it take two seconds, so that's at 60 FPS. Now, from here, I'm gonna turn the strength all the way down. Again, press control and click. Again, if you're on a Mac, then command and click. Now you'll see on the timeline, there is a uh, blue dots laid down. Now these are keyframes. So if I play this through, you'll see that's what we've got. A very nice animation like so. So now I'm gonna be animating the position in a different way. So I'm gonna head back to the mode text up here. And then what I'm gonna do is open up all the different angles like so. Now I'm going to press the keyframe button here, then from the top track I'm going to bring this forward. Then I'm going to press the keyframe button again to lay down this keyframe. Then I'm going to come across to 60 seconds, or to 60 uh, FPS I mean, and what I'm going to be doing is dragging this back. So I'm going to go here and just simply drag this back onto the screen like so. Make sure it's all lined up, there we go. And I'm going to lay down a keyframe again by pressing this button here. Now you'll see there's a line that's been created and this is the path of the animation that will happen. So opening this one back to full screen, I'm going to play this through from the beginning and this is what we have. So the text is going to come in and it's going to sort itself out like that. So it's going to come flying in and it's also going to rotate at the same time. Pretty simple, but it looks pretty good. So this is a way you can use as an intro and of course, Come down here, you can add some materials and make the text look better. But that's it for this tutorial, hopefully it's been useful for you. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.